Hi, I'm Gene with Performance Bicycle, and I'm going to be giving you a few tips about wheel repair techniques that go beyond wheel trimming. Uh, for instance, we're going to be talking a little bit about wheel tensioning, about wheel dishing, and also about wheel troubleshooting to see if the wheel is even repairable to begin with. Depending on which repair technique you'll be using, some of the tools you might need is a truing stand, a wheel alignment gauge, a tensiometer, Allen wrenches, and vernier calipers. Okay, here's a list of things that you need to inspect the wheel for to determine whether the wheel is repairable or not. There are a few conditions that are repairable, such as a hub adjustment or a loose axle, broken spokes, rusted spokes or spoke nipples, or worn spokes where the spokes cross. When you're inspecting your wheel and you find some of these conditions, then the wheel really needs to be replaced. Look for the broken weld on the rim on the opposite side of the valve hole. Look for cracks around the spoke holes. Look for the rim being dented or flat spotted. And look for damage to the hub flange. Another indication that your wheel might need to be replaced is a bent rim. The way you can tell if it's bent beyond repair is take a look at the spoke tension. If the wheel is bent or if the rim is bent toward the drive side, when you're truing the wheel, you would need to tighten up the non-drive side spokes on this side of the wheel. But if these spokes are already way too tight and these spokes are already way too loose on the drive side, you're not going to be able to true the wheel up. You're going to over tension one side and the other. You're not, it's not going to be a stable wheel.